what's uh what's going on with yeah. the development that was the last time we talked i think that was kind of the common connection because uh you know we've got the riverfront stuff that we're doing and um and you guys have this uh development outside of nashville but kind of give me the status update tell people a little bit more about it and then uh, we'll dive into that yeah absolutely so it's a um it's a project called errington woods it's um 90 acres of rolling wooded hills um in errington tennessee which is in williamson county just south of nashville it's south of nashville by 35 40 minutes um one of the uh one of the fastest growing areas of tennessee lots of people moving here um really from all over the country um it's it's a it's a place of large lots and big piece you know big piece of land lots of farmland it was very agricultural for a long time and uh and and now that's getting basically divided up into home sites everywhere you look there's also uh it's also a really really great school district so that's part of the reason why people move there but um yeah our project's called Arrington woods 90 acres 11 home sites so we're the land developer um it was a deal that that me and a few other partners found and we're able to basically get our you know get our soils approved, get everything, um, get everything buttoned up, closed on it, and are now in the process of like branding, marketing, and selling individual lots. So we've got one of them under contract and um, yeah, hoping to, uh, you know, would love to sell it. Yeah. Does, uh, did you guys have to, does that area have mostly like well water and septic or did you guys have to get city water in and, uh, and, uh, uh, we are going to have city water. So there's city water at the road, um, but everything's septic, yeah. everything's septic. And that's a big, um, you really need to jump through a lot of hoops in that County with your septic. So that was something that, um, I, I have like almost PTSD, <laughs> uh, when I hear the word septic yeah. from that deal, because we just spent such a long time, you know, getting everything tested, get everything approved, meeting with inspectors. I put up personally, you know, probably miles of, uh, of silt fencing around our septic sites, um, there. And, uh, yeah, it's been, it's, it's been a process, but we're, we're, we're totally approved on the other side. Of That's that good. I mean, I bet you learn, I mean, just personally, yeah. like I've learned so much doing the development stuff. There's always something it feels like, um, whether that's some kind of weird permitting thing you didn't know about, uh, just like different things around construction, building roads, like getting utilities in, you know, we had to do, I'm um, assuming you guys have three phase power you had to bring in. We're getting fiber brought in. Um, there's just been a lot there, but what, what are some of the other lessons and things that you guys uh, went in and now you're having to learn? Yeah, I, um, gosh, there's, there's so many lessons. Uh, you know, we, um, we found that a, the entire, um, site was in the um national register of historic places so there's actually at the top of our site there's actually like a union encampment during the civil war where there were i think like four thousand troops um stationed up there at one time there was no like battle or anything like it's not you know other than that there's there's no like major historical significance to it but um you know that was that was another one right where we uh we contracted this deal and, you know, had, had learned from the seller, you know, some of this historic is, is historic, but it's, it's no big deal. And then when you actually like get down to, you know, starting to parcel it out and getting approved with the county, you find out, oh no, this is like a, a very big deal. And, um, so we actually ended up donating a portion of the site to, um, a nonprofit called the battle of Franklin trust. Uh, they're based out of um, Franklin, Tennessee, and they basically like oversee and, and uh, are the caretaker of many different historical sites in the area. So we donated like a the historically significant portion kind of at the top to them. So that was a, that was a learning experience for me. I mean, I've never, ever dealt with I've, I've dealt with historical overlays before, but never, never something like remotely like that. Um, so that was that was a new one. And. Yeah. I mean, all you go through, right. With, with infrastructure and utilities, I think that's another, you know, it's like when we started this project, I'm, I'm like, oh, you know, I've, I've built houses before, right. I'm familiar with construction. Like this is, you know, I'll probably learn some new things, whatever. And then, and then you just realize like how significant of an endeavor it is actually developing raw land. Right. And just like bringing everything in, um, and, uh, how difficult that is to budget for too. So, um, you know, we're, 
we're in a good position with this project, but it has been, uh, it's, it's been a, a huge learning curve for me and uh, I'm grateful to have had this experience.